if you have something something go well on the field and your teammates get around you, that means an awful lot. But when you also hear the crowd, and particularly at an away game, when you hear them and you hear their vocal support, there's no greater pat on the back to, to really kind of give you that extra little bit. When people travel to make that effort and that financial commitment to come and watch you play and support you, it, we definitely recognise it, being connected with grassroots, fans, whoever it is who supports us. When you're kind of out and around in the town and you see English fans and French fans and Scots fans and, and everyone's kind of in the pub having a drink together, you get kind of a sense of how, how kind of rugby brings people together in such a great way. It's a special feeling walking off the bus and seeing the groups of people that have come that early just to cheer you in and when the national anthem goes it, there's no feeling that really gets you lump in the back of the throat, hairs in the back of your neck, whatever you want to say. A good road trip down to, uh, down to France, it's great for a little a, a weekend away. As a home nations games, it means an awful lot wherever you travel and as a travelling fan you really kind of get submerged in that and, uh, and get to kind of experience that first time. Definitely say my first start and my second cap away in um, Stade de France and managed to grab a try in the last minute to seal it. So it was a pretty special moment. To kind of have that have that goal of being involved with England, the, the, that kind of pinnacle of kind of European rugby, achieving that uh, for for England and being a, being a very much a, a wholehearted England supporter was uh, was a really exciting time for me.